Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. And today, quite a straightforward puzzle, I'm told. It's called Why Not by Easily Amused. And it's got uh, friendly cells. <laughs> well, it's got no given digits. I'm not sure how easy this is actually going to be. I might be being uh, played for a fool here. Anyway, we'll have a look at that in a moment. Um, don't forget that on Patreon every month, we have crossword videos and sudoku content and a sudoku hunt every month that is a patron reward and that you can win a prize for if you join us there and have a go at the excellent puzzles we're putting out every month um it's skunk works in october there's all sorts of stuff generally on patreon and all sorts of puzzles in our apps we don't have a friendly sudoku app but we have lots of others including classic chess sandwich sudoku Killer Sudoku, Arrow Sudoku, Thermo Sudoku, and Domino Sudoku, as well as two gas apps. There are loads to be getting on with. Do check them all out. They're on the links under the video, as are Sven Sudoku Pad and our merchandise. So, uh, no, I was going to show you some merchandise. I haven't got that. What I've actually got is a Let's Get Kraken um, coaster, which I will display in a moment when I've gone through the rules of easily amused, good names, puzzle, why not? Another good name. Okay, normal Sudoku rules apply. We're gonna try and put one to nine in every row, every column, and every three by three box. Digits within, this is the only rule. Digits within cages are friendly, meaning that they correspond to the number of their row, that's row one, etc. the number of their column, that's column one, etc. or the number of their box. This is box one, this is box two, this is box three, this is four, five, etc. So each digit in a cage must correspond to at least one of those. That's it. Um, give it a try. It's the first link. I am, oh, what am I doing? I am going to say, let's get Kraken. Okay, so um, you probably can't just write any number in, however easy it is. I think what you can do. Okay, I'm going to do the admin heavy version and mark up all the cells. So anything in row one that has a cage, I'm going to put a one as a possible number there. And I'm going to do this in each of the three orientations, rows, columns, and boxes. And then we will see what we've got to work with. And we'll see how, how approachable or not the start of the puzzle is. So rows one to nine marked up. Now, column one, lots of cages in column one, not many in column two, only one in column three. Ooh, just be careful to skip over the four. Oh no, it doesn't matter. You can do it without skipping over because Sven is so clever that if you, look, I've got seven covered, but putting seven in doesn't delete it because it makes sure that they all have the same state after you do that. Anyway, this is box one. Oh, no more digits to put in there. This is box two. So they get a two. This is box three. Already that had a three in it. This is box four. This is box five. Okay, I'm seeing something good in box five. This is box six, less good. This is box seven. This is box eight. And this is box nine. Okay, so those are the only candidates for the cage cells. Now, can we find any doubles or triples or quadruples? And the answer is yes, I've got one, and that is in box five, where we've got a four, five, six, triple. Those three cells must be four, five, six. The others must be one, two, three, seven, eight, nine. I'm not sure what that does. I thought that was going to give us a start, but I don't see how it achieves that. Um, okay, need to find something else. That's surprised me a little. Let's hope I've got this candidate marking correct. Otherwise, <laughs> otherwise this thing's going to fall apart in a hurry. But I mean, I think I did it fairly methodically. It wasn't exciting, perhaps, but it was careful and correct. So, hmm, okay, I'm not sure what to do now. 
What if that was a two? Ah. If this is a one, it makes that a four. That's interesting. Because that means that that has to be four in box five. OK, it doesn't work, but it's quite complicated. If that's a 1, this is a 4. Then that's a 5, and this is a 6. So if that's a 1, 4, 5, 6, they're mandatory. But that makes that a 2, and this has no possible fill now in row 2, column 4, because it's seeing. Oh no, hang on, that can be four. I'm, well, no, it can't, because four has ended up here. Oh, I see. Yeah, I did see this. One, four, five, six, four. That becomes two, and that can't be filled. I mean, that is quite complicated, but it stems from this being a one, and it doesn't work. And I'm going to use that. So that's now a two. Now this is a four. And I mean, this is going to fix everything. That's a four. I can do 5 and 6 in the central box. This has become a 6. That's not a 6. This is not a 2. Now, there's a lot more tidying up to do of pencil marks. That is not a 6. That is not a 4. So that's a 1, and that's going to complete a lot of the column 1 cells. Look at this. This is just all happening now. So you just need to find one interaction that doesn't work, I think. Look at all this. Those can't have a four in. Um, ooh, have I run out of steam? Oh, I thought that was going to carry on until I had all the cages filled. And it didn't. It, it absolutely didn't. Served me right. Right, what next? Can we do something else like that that's neat, clever, and full of beans? Um... Oh, well, there's Sudoku. Look, there's a, f oh, there's a four, six pair in columns four and six. That is now a four, six pair in box eight. That's weird. I wasn't expecting to get any Sudoku done with about 10 marked digits. I mean, I suppose it didn't place anything. Um, I'm trying to work out how to use that somewhere else and failing. If that was a 2, this would be an 8-9 pair. Now that would resolve both of these, and I think in a way that's possible. But if that's a 2 and that's an 8-9 pair, these two, well, they have to be part of a 4-5-6 triple. Mm, it works. Oh, three is looking directly at this. That might be huge. Maybe this has all been available. We get a seven there. Oh, no, okay. That stopped quickly. I just hadn't noticed it. Um, no, I don't know. We're going to have to find something else. These fours and sixes aren't going to contribute to it, I don't think. So, if, oh, that's lovely. Right, this can't be an eight, simple enough. This is just a Y-wing. If that's an eight, that's a nine, and that's a two. And then what happens to this cell? Well, it's dead. So that is not an eight, that's a five. Now, this can't be a five. Now we've got a one, two pair acting on that. That's a three. That's a nine. Look at this. This is flowing. Six, eight, five. I can do four. Yes, this is going to do all of the cages, just like that. Look at that. They're all done apart from a one, two pair, but that's not bad. Right, now this is a naked six. We see one, two, three, four, seven in the column, eight, five in the row and nine in the box, that's a six. This is a naked five as a result, and we do have an eight, nine pair up the column. That's one or four, one, five, four, eight, six. 
This looks naked as well. One, four, five, six, eight in the row, three, seven, nine in the column. Um, ah, this is a seven, three pair based on those. In fact, actually, they're not pair. We know which way around they go. So this is a five, eight, nine triple. I know where five is, but not where the eight, nine go. Two, four, three, six, nine. I wouldn't be amazed if there wasn't much more else to do in this, interestingly. Oh, look, none. Where's eight in this column? Okay, the simpler way is to get eight there and then put in eight here. That is one or four. We can place six in column seven as well. That fixes my four six pair that I was so pleased to discover. Can't do these. Three, eight, seven, nine. Let's use this pair, seven, one, two, three. Yeah, we've got an eight, nine pair in those cells in row one. Hmm. That can't be, oh, I can place three in row four. Then I've got a seven, nine pair left. One of these is a nine. But do I know which one? Nine, I don't. Um, eight, nine, two, three, so. Seven and five. That's a one or a two. Five, nine, four, eight, six. I'm reduced to looking at the bottom. No, let's go up here. Six, five, four, three. I don't know. That didn't do anything, really. Eight, four, five, six. Oh, my goodness. Do we still have something clever to do? I mean, I'm not going to claim we've done anything very clever at this point, but... It hasn't just given up, has it, this puzzle? Certainly not now. Um, I wasn't planning to do corner marking, but I am going to. Seven is in one of those two places in the box. Um, two is in one of those two. Six is in one of those. Three, eight, seven, two, nine, six. Two, eight, six, five. Nine is somewhere there. Nine, six, eight. That is five. Oh, that is just a hidden single. Ah, oh, that's getting better. I should have spotted that. This is now a 7-5 pair, and that is a 1. Now, come on, do something, 1. Oh, it's determined not to do anything. Now, what about this row? Yes, 4 in this row is done. There it is. This is a 1-2 pair. Now I can place 7, 9, and 3 in this box. I want to call it a cage, but it's not. That's 1 or 2. Wonder if we're going to end up with a bunch of one, two pairs. One, two, three. Well, where's four in this column? It's got to be there. Now, let's go around placing fours. No, can't. Hmm. Okay, there's a one, six pair, but I've got a one, two pair looking at that. So they're done. That is five or seven, but it sees a five. That's going to clear up a lot. Right, five there. Seven there. That makes that a nine. It really is going to do the business. Eight, nine. That's an eight. This is a seven. Uh, we've got a nine in column four already. That's a one, two pair. So this is a three, nine pair. One, two, and eight. That is a one. That's a two. That's an eight. This is five and six. We can do both of them. Four, seven, six, eight, two, five. Right, not sure. That one is seeing the four. That's going to clear up two and one in box seven. That's a two seven pair. This is a four three pair. We know the order. Where's three? Don't know. It's in one of those cells. What about these two? We must be able to do those. Six and two. They've been available for ages. Seven and two down there. This is a one three pair. That fixes nine three nine seven and then this has really been nice and approachable just needed the methodical start and then a couple of little spots and that's nice that is a nice puzzle by easily amused why not indeed um, and i've enjoyed that that's clever so that's the solution and well done if you got it done fast well done if you got it done at all um, any solve of a Sudoku is a valid tick in your mental health box. Thank you very much for watching, as always, and we'll be back with more tomorrow. Bye for now.